Hello, Libras. The last reading I did, I was getting that it's time for you guys to be, um, for this energy group, it's time to be social again. It's time to, you know, get out of stagnant energy. It's time to put yourself out there again. It's time to, um, just like some of you have been like kind of in like a rut. Like maybe you like don't leave the house a lot. You're just kind of, you know, when you do go out, you go to the same exact places every time. It's like, it's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to travel. It's time to to go to new places, to experience new things. Um, I just feel like some of you are so numb. You're just in this stagnant energy. And when you really get out there and experience these new things, that's when true love is going to come rushing in for you. But let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see what's going on now. That was about a month ago that I did that reading. Sorry, I missed your reading a couple weeks ago. But let's see what's going on right now. I have apology, regret. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, spying. Yeah, I think there's someone that's wanting to come back around and apologize to you. They're wanting to seduce you. Um, they've been kind of spying on you, watching you. But I think that you're done with it. I think that even though you, you, you might be glad that you have this closure, that the ball is finally in your court. Maybe this is someone that you, you chased them for a long time and they were always rejecting you. And now you're just kind of um, putting yourself first more. I think you are really, I think you are coming out of this stagnant energy or you have come out of it or maybe like you're in the process of this. And so you're, you have this new perspective, like you're looking at things differently. So some of you, it's like this, this ex from your past has noticed this energy shift. Like they know that they don't have you like they used to. They see that you're, um, you're not stagnant. You're not numb and depressed like you were, or even if you are, it's like, you're starting to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You're starting to pull yourself out of that darkness on your own. You're starting to maybe like you have the desire to go do new things even if you haven't taken that step yet even if it still makes you a little nervous you at least um are thinking about your your hobbies more you're you're planning traveling even if you haven't done it yet you are you're taking the steps to get out of the stagnation and the depression and the numbness and you know all that repetitive energy the same old same old you know going to the same places doing the same exact thing day in day out like just routine just boring boring numbing routine just watching your life pass you by um you guys are breaking free of that so some for some of you it's like this person feels that and they want to come back around um they're like oh wow like they're this person's actually like they're you know they can feel the energy even if you guys aren't talking it's like they can feel that energy shift because something's being stirred up inside you right now and some of you might get like an unexpected message out of the blue, like an apology, regret. But I think you're going to want to end it. I don't think you're because I think that you're really going to be focused on living your best life. And maybe for some of you, this person might have even been the reason you were depressed because I do get depression for this group. Like some of you were just kind of like, you know, didn't have faith in love anymore. Just kind of didn't want to You just kind of just routine like you just didn't just kind of over everything. Because for some of you, it's like this person like cheated or they just betrayed you in some way where it's like it just kind of left you empty. Like you didn't want them back, but like you wished it you wished it could have gone back to the way it was before. Like something shifted and you just wanted it. You know what I mean? Like it just made you like detached from love almost like you just kind of stopped believing in love. And I feel like you might get an apology from this person. But like I said, I don't think you're going to want it. I think you're going to want the freedom, the breakthrough to end this pattern or cycle. I almost feel like some of you have like a certain perspective because of this person. You're like, true love doesn't exist. Like everyone I love is going to cheat on me or everyone I love is going to leave or just like, like a negative thought pattern. And I feel like you're ending that thought pattern as well. Like, I think your perspective is changing. You're like, you know what? That was a bad relationship. But if I think about it, there were red flags there. I did ignore the red flags. I need to be honest with myself. And not everyone is like that. Maybe you have a pattern where people that you normally are attracted to are like that, but like you know there's more out there. And it might really require stepping out of your comfort zone. You might have to date someone that's totally not your usual type. But you're um, starting to believe that love really is out there. And I feel like this person is going to be spying on you. They're going to be trying to seduce you, trying to apologize, trying to pull you back in now that they see that you're not as focused on them you're kind of you're you're breaking free of them finally um 
And it almost pisses them off. It almost, this person might be narcissistic. This person might almost be angry that you're breaking free of them. It's like pride, stubbornness. It's like they, almost like they wanted you to chase them and you're just kind of not. It might be like, there might've been a period of silence. There might've been a period of silence where they betrayed you and you were still heartbroken over them, but they just were silent because they were playing mind games and they were waiting for you to make the first move. Like they were expecting you to chase them and you didn't. And that like kind of made them angry because now they're like, shit, like I have to apologize to this person or I'm gonna lose them. You know, like they kind of realize like they have to step up or step out and they're gonna give it, they're, they're gonna try it, but you're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna want it anymore because you're gonna remember that that leads to sadness, that it leads to heartbreak and pain and you're not gonna want it. You're gonna pause and reflect and rest and be logical. And you know, you know that love is out there. You know that you can, that you can manifest someone that's gonna, be loyal to you that's gonna do you right you know like you know that like you feel that and you're not gonna want to put yourself through this pain again yeah they're gonna want reconciliation but i feel like you have justice here you know what i mean and it, it is gonna take willpower and strength and confidence to you know listen to the red flags and remind yourself of what it was like with this person remind yourself of why you do not want this back you know, I really see you rising above the loneliness here. I don't think you're gonna, you're not gonna want this. I really just don't feel like you will, but I feel like you're gonna have that justice. Like it's gonna feel good. It's gonna be like an ego boost for you to see them being the one to apologize, them being the one to chase you. Cause this person was so narcissistic and prideful and kind of stuck in their ways and like, feel like they were kind of emotionally unavailable. Like they wanted you to reach out. They wanted you to pursue. They wanted you to do all the work. So like seeing them grovel and seeing them apologize and seeing them like own what they did to you finally, instead of like gaslighting you and making excuses for it, I think it's gonna feel really good for you. I think it's gonna give you like a sense of freedom and closure, like that you needed that justice, you needed that apology. I feel like it's gonna help you move past this. You know, I think you're gonna move out of this quickly when you get that too. Um, I feel like you're, I feel like maybe you went through a dark night of the soul and you're going to be, you know, dreams, visions, telepathy, like you've got like a psychic awakening coming in too. Maybe, maybe another one, if you've already been through one, you know, like another psychic up leveling and you're going to have someone, you're going to be manifesting someone who will choose love over fear, who is going to make a bold gesture for you, who is going to be willing to take that risk for you and commit to you in, in ways that this other person just wasn't. And at the time, I think it broke your heart because you really thought that this other person was like your person, like your be all end all, like that was just like it, that was the one for you. But I think that there were moments when you really sat there and thought like, is this really all there is? Like there was like red flags that didn't sit right with you. Like intuitively, like in your body, like you just felt like something was off, like something I don't know, like something just didn't fully connect, like something didn't, it didn't fully resonate with you. You know what I mean? Like it didn't completely feel right to you. There was always something that was just like a little bit off there, like something that just, like some, some small part of you that was like, is this really all there is? Like maybe little things about them that kind of bothered you that you tried to overlook, you know, that kind of thing or vice versa. Like you felt like you couldn't be your true self a hundred percent around them. Or like you guys were always having to make compromises like all the time. It was like there just was there was like a disconnect there. You know what I mean? But I think like absence makes the heart grow fonder. Like it was still familiar and comfortable. There was still love there. But I think some part of you knew that you were settling. You know what I mean? And and so I think that I just think that you're gonna I think that in like a certain perspective, it's like you're not you're not um, remembering the red flags as much. It's like you're thinking about how it could have been or how, you know what I mean? Like almost like more fantasy. It's like, I feel like, I feel like when you get this closure from them, it's like, it's gonna change your perspective. You're gonna, you're gonna look back on this. Basically, even if you felt like that was your person at the time, I feel like down the road, you're going to look back on that relationship and you're going to be really thankful that your spirit guides do not allow you to stay stuck in that energy. You're going to be really grateful that that 
was not the person that you ended up with. Does that make sense? Like you're going to meet someone else and you're going to understand why it didn't work out with, with that, with the person from your past that broke your heart or anybody else for that matter. Um, I feel like you guys either are or in the near future, you will be connecting through dreams, visions, telepathy, like, you know, having dreams, like just kind of feeling like you're about to meet this person. I feel like it's going to be coming in around the same time that you get this apology from this ex. And it's going to be different. Like it's going to, you guys are going to take it slow. I feel like it's going to, it's just, you're going to know because this person's going to put you first. This person's not going to, even if they're afraid, they're not going to act on the fear. They're going to push past the fear. So that's how you're going to know it's different. Choose a path. Yeah, and you're going to have to choose between overthinking, overanalyzing, and self-sabotaging because, like I said, this might be different. It might not be your usual type. This person might not even be someone that you're fully attracted to right away. Like, this person might be someone that, like, you kind of think they're cute, but, like, they're not your usual type. And then, like, you, as you get to know them, you connect on a soul level, and you're like, wow, this is actually my person. It doesn't feel... It's not exactly what I expected, but it's like you're going to be happy in the long run. You're going to be like, wow, this is, like, different. You know what I mean? So give in to love, submit to love, or submit to fear and overthink this. It's, the choice is yours. Don't get stuck in your head when this connection comes in. It might not be your usual type. It might not be the way you think it's going to be. You're going to, because I'm getting that you're going to try to control it. You're going to try to predict it. You're going to be like, it's going to be at this timing. It's going to, it's going to happen this way. And it might be unexpected. It might be like you meet like a coworker and they ask you out and like some part of you wants to sabotage or like oh i'm not ready or i have the you know it's like i just feel like some of you are like home buddies and like like you want to go out and have fun but like it scares you or like it's too much you know especially if you're like depressed it makes sense you know what i mean so it's like you might get like asked on a date and you might be like like uh, i have I don't know. I kind of got to stay home with my cat. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, like that kind of energy where it's like, you're just like, like, I have to, I have to do my makeup. I have to, I have to dress up. I'm going to go out and I have to be social. Like I have to make small, you know, you know what I mean? Like I might be like too much. You might just like want to go home and like kind of curl into bed and, you know, watch, watch TV or whatever. And it's like, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you choose. Do you want to submit to love or do you want to overthink and sabotage and stay in your comfort zone? Um, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Yeah, this is a potential life partner, but like I said, this might not be your usual type. This might not. I really kind of get for some of you, I feel like this might be a coworker. Or someone that's like noticing you, but you're gonna, I almost feel like when this person asks you out, like you're actually gonna wanna say no because you're gonna be like, oh, I'm tired, like I wanna go home, or I'm not ready for this, or like, you know what I mean? And it's like, you're gonna have to just push yourself out of your comfort zone and just do it. Just, just go, just go on the date, just go on the date. <laughs> um, just put yourself out there, you know what I mean? Like, cause this could lead. Even if you're not feeling, even if you're not sure at first, like if you have a pattern of going for a certain type of person that's like emotionally unavailable, then like you need to break that pattern. And like a lot of people that are drawn to my videos are actually in that energy where they need to break those patterns. It makes sense. It, you know, it's, it's an energy that I resonate with and that I channel very well, or very clearly at least usually since I've been through it. Um, so it's like, don't overlook this person is kind of what I'm getting with this energy. It's like, you might just think they're kind of cute, but it's like, you might be like, oh, I, I want to, I want my ex back or I'm still heartbroken over my ex or like, I don't know if I believe in love anymore or I kind of just want to go home and sleep or I don't really feel like, you know, getting dressed up or I, you know, this or that, just excuses, just like, you know, like your mind sabotaging you and making excuses out of fear because it's so unfamiliar. But it's kind of saying take that chance, like get to know someone that's not your usual type. If someone's taking interest in you and you get good vibes from them, but maybe it's like just like a little bit unfamiliar, it's like get it, give them a chance to get to know them, like see what they're about. And if you're not feeling it, fine, then, then you know, end the date or whatever. But like you might be surprised by this person who's maybe kind of shy, maybe kind of awkward, maybe not what you'd normally go for. Maybe they're a little bit quiet. Maybe they're, you know, 
a little nerdy or whatever. Maybe they're kind of like they kind of want, you know, kind of just shy or what and sweet or whatever. But you know, there might be more to them than what you see. So give this a chance is really what I'm getting here. Um, if this is your reading and you want a private reading, just send me an email. It is below in the description box. Um, email me first before purchasing a reading because I am going to be out of town. So make sure that I'm around before you purchase a reading, at least at least right now since I'm out of town for a little over a week. Um, what else here? Let's see. Any donations are appreciated. They are below. And please subscribe if this resonates. Thanks for watching.